So these wonderful things called layers, you need to know about them and how they work in a network. And the idea is this, you are probably now familiar with quite a few different network protocols, hopefully. If not, I will uh, give you a few. So we've got HTTP used for web pages. Uh, we've got IMAP, which is used to synchronize emails from a server to your device. We've got TCP IP, uh, which is how we transfer packets of information from one place to another across the internet. And then we've got Ethernet and we've got Wi-Fi. So they're different ways of uh, physical ways of sending data. So Ethernet is through wires, Wi-Fi is through the air and radio waves. These are all different kinds of protocols. And when we want to do something useful, such as send a web page from a server to your mobile uh, mobile phone, we have to combine these protocols together um, to do something useful. So let's say this is your mobile, and let's say this is you with your mobile phone. Um, how do you actually get this web page? So we use a few different protocols. Um, we've got HTTP to start with, so that is the protocol that we use to send web page data. We've got TCP IP, which is how we're getting the data to you. And we have got, because it's going over the radio waves, because it's wireless, we've got Wi-Fi as well. So we've used those three protocols together to send data on your mobile. Let's say that we're changing the scenario a bit and you're no longer browsing a web page, but you want to receive your email. All I need to do is replace one of these protocols. So I just need to get rid of HTTP and let's say that now I'm using IMAP because I'm doing that for, um, I'm trying to get your e uh, my emails, okay? I've replaced just one of these protocols. I've not had to touch the other two. And that is the whole concept of layers. I've just swapped out a single protocol for another and I can leave the other two uh, exactly as they are. And that is why we say that layers are self-contained. Uh, so I'll give you just another quick example. If I was to replace this mobile phone and say instead of using a mobile phone, we're using a PC. Uh, so let's do like a monitor on that now and let's pretend that you're, you're working on your keyboard. So this is a PC and that's connected using a wire, so using a network wire. I'm no longer using, uh, using Wi-Fi. Then I'm swapping out just one protocol. Everything else stays the same. So I'm not getting rid of my map. I'm not getting rid of TCP IP. I'm just swapping out the one protocol um, to be Ethernet because now I'm communicating using a wired connection. So these things are self-contained, self-contained, these layers. That's really important to know, which means I can swap out one and it won't affect any of the other protocols. I can just swap one for the other without having to worry about uh, the rest of them. And that's the advantage and benefit of layers. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.